Hello folks, another video from the hard drive hooker, I, I mean the angry photographer. Uh, we're talking about uh, some storage media, what to buy, what not to buy, good reasons, so on and so forth. Over here on the right I have an Oracle box. Inside of it I've got um, five uh, two terabyte uh, Hitachi drives. I keep naked hard drives like this. Remember not to touch the hard drive controller board. Uh, actually, this one's Toshiba. The rest of those are Hitachi. I misspoke. Hard drive controller right here. Remember, never touch your hard drive controller board. Electrostatic shop. shock. And here we have what I recommend you get. Either an Anchor or an Orco. Back here connects a, a little power. A uh, little power wart and a USB 3 connector or an eSATA connector. And this holds either 2.5 inch or the big honkers here. Hard drives. There you go. Plugs right in your dock right there. Stick that in USB port. The way you're able, power on right here. Really simple. That way you eliminate not only size and bulk, but the highly corruptible item here your uh, SATA bridge controller, your SATA card. SATA bridge card, extremely high failure rate. 90% uh, of the hard drives that are in the landfills right now were good hard drives that people thought were dead, which were actually just uh, dead uh, uh, SATA bridges. So grab yourself a dock, one of these is 35 bucks. Talk about compact. Now just because I rail against uh, needing optical storage for your really important stuff doesn't mean I don't love hard drives. Now, what's the most important thing? I had a hard drive failure uh, two weeks ago. And you know what I said? This is what you need to say if you ever have a hard drive failure, either inside your computer or as a backup external to your computer. This is what you need to say, and it's what I said two weeks ago. Two words. So what? What do you mean, so what? means I've got 10 more copies of that and other places off uh, uh, and now websites in Europe, website in Russia, website in Southeast Asia, website and uh, server in Arizona. I've got it stored on optical. I've got it stored on multiple other hard drives. I got the most important stuff stored on optical. So what? If you ever need to consult a hard drive recovery software or expert, you have effed up. Here's a real compact option. Right here I have six terabytes on two and a half inch hard drives. One of them is an Air clone, clone of my uh, MacBook Air. Six terabytes, these little cases are really neat. They hold two, two and a half inch hard drives. Uh, the current size now on the 10.5 millimeter hard drives is 1.5 terabytes. So you can store, instead of two terabytes, which I have in here now, uh, you can store uh, uh, three terabytes of storage and each one holds two two and a half inch hard drives really compact storage keep these inside a ziploc to prevent humidity if you live in humid climates buy yourself a thirty dollar fireproof box you know obviously a fireproof safe is better but a lot of people can't afford those you know you can go to walmart they sell those little fireproof boxes it's not about anti-theft it is about uh, you know protecting your data from fire um, best hard drives to purchase. Basically, there are only cur currently four hard drive manufacturers in the world. Western Digital bought up Hitachi, and then you have Toshiba, and you have Seagate. Seagate's the worst. Statistically, the best hard drives to purchase, two and a half inch, the same thing that uh, Apple used to use. Of course, everything now has gone to solid state drives, which have their own issues. They're reaching a theor theoretical limits on, uh, on, uh, on the storage size on solid states. Uh, the best are Toshiba and Hitachi. Number one is HGST or uh, Hitachi. Now while Western Digital has bought up and integrated uh, Hitachi in to their company, they have still not fully integrated. Do not ever buy Western Digital like at Best Buy. Western Digital blue, blue drives, green drives, any of the consumer grade drives. The best hard drive in the world that many can buy is either a Hitachi travel store or which used to have a bad re reputation, but it's actually number one in the reliability. Number one in reliability, they're somewhat expensive. Remember, all hard drives will croak on you, okay? Number one, just remember black, okay? Once you go black, you never go back, right? Okay, that's the number one hard drive. Reliability this is a server-grade hard drive. This is what you want. 64 megabyte cache. This is a three terabyte drive, by the way. Um, 
Also, one thing you never want to buy is a 4 terabyte or a 5 terabyte or a 6 terabyte drive. Why? They have momentum issues, they have early motor failure, and it is also a bad practice in principle to store a crap load of data in one place. Because 99% of you people, they go out there, I know what you do because I've seen you do it and I've talked to you at tech support at Apple on discussion.apple.com. I'm going to go out and stick all my shit on one hard drive. You know, I'm going to go out and buy a big four terabyte hard drive and all of my crap's going to be on there. It's going to be in one spot. And when the drive crashes, boom, gone. You're fucked. You're screwed. Oh my god, all my data's gone. I put everything on there. Oh no. <laughs> Ideal protection plan, okay? Time machine backup. I know you may not be using Apple. Hard drive clone. Number three, data only archives and backups. Number four, long term optical storage. Number five, your hard drives and your optical storage in a fireproof box, vault, or safe. Okay? Get yourself some naked hard drives off of eBay, some Hitachi's or some Western Digital Black. Black only. Okay? Now, all those little uh, peckerwoods out there, dingleberries, you knuckle-dragging, subhuman, simian, uh, moron, you mental midgets out there that have told me, uh, well, not referring to this YouTube channel, but in other places have told me, Optical's dead! The quickest way to shut those people the hell up is just to ask them one question. Okay, just answer one question for me. Okay! Name me one place I can store my data where I know that when I throw it in a safe that six years, ten years, fifteen years from now it will still be there. Um, that's right. The answer is optical. Only optical. I can actually say I wrote the book on magnetism. I know more about magnetism than anybody on the face of this earth. Okay? Does that sound hubristic? Why? It might be, but it's also true. Magnetic depolarization. Ferromagnetic depolarization. You store your crap on your hard drive. I'm going to stick it in the safe and it's still going to be there 10 years. No, it won't. It will be gone in 4 to 6. Sometimes a little less. Perfect storage, perfect humidity, perfect temperature in a fireproof vault, wrapped in a Ziploc bag, hermetically sealed, with a uh, with a uh, a cross and a Saint Mary's statue sitting on top of it, whatever sort of mumbo jumbo that you want to do, your data is not safe on any hard drive. Only two hard drives. Those that are dead and those that will die. Everyone is stalking to kill your data. Every single one. Something else really important to do, and it's so handy, especially if you're traveling is that like I've got my Air clone on here, my MacBook Air, on this one little hard drive which is only 500 giger. You clone your MacBook Pro, your Mac Mini, um, even if you've got a Windows machine, or I mean I meant to say wind blows machine. The reason I lost all my hair is screwing around with Windows machines for so many years. But, carry around a hard drive clone, download the free software application called SuperDuper, clone your hard drive. So if your hard drive ever crashes and you need to go buy yourself a new MacBook Pro, or MacBook Air, it doesn't matter if it's got a solid state drive in it, doesn't matter. So, I'm packing this around, if my, my computer dies and I'm in Europe, for example, I've got this hard drive with me, I've got all my apps, everything, an exact clone of my solid state drive. Of course, the MacBook Air has a solid state drive. All I have to do is buy myself a new MacBook Air in Europe, reverse clone everything from here to there, and then it is like my computer never died at all. Or I can take this along with a SATA bridge card or a hard drive dock and I can boot up someone else's Mac Mini or MacBook Pro, MacBook Air. I can boot up my computer on their Mac computer and it is exactly the same as your computer. You just go down to System Preferences, you choose which drive to boot from, say I want to boot from this external hard drive here, the machine will restart, your computer is right there. So, on a single hard drive, if you're traveling or if your computer crashes, you know, it's like, oh crap, I have all these programs and settings and I gotta reload all that crap. Oh crap, oh crap. Make a hard drive clone. 
or in the case of what is now, make a solid state clone inside your MacBook Air, your MacBook Pro, onto a hard drive, and then if your machine dies, croaks, or your, your solid state drive croaks, you just reverse clone from the external to the current internal solid state. Or if you're traveling and your computer crashes, you just you can boot up from this on someone else's Mac computer. Or if your computer dies, you can reverse clone after you purchase a new one on your travels. Oh my god, that's so handy. Yes, it is. So remember, if you want to buy a hard drives, by the way, these are the best, cheapest, I need to mention these. These are the best, cheapest. Now, they are 5400 RPM, but you're not talking about accessing data all the time. Well, 5400 RPM isn't that fast. These are for backing up your files and making hard drive archives. I thought you said archives were optical. Yes, true protection is optical. But these are the best. Go on eBay, buy these. These are the most reliable. These are also the ones that Apple uh, used to use in their MacBook uh, Mini. And they still use them. It is the Toshiba MQ01ABD100. Okay. It's a uh, one terabyte drive, extremely reliable. This is the highest reliability. It's, no, it's not 7200 RPM, but you don't need that for a hard drive backup or a hard drive clone of your internal system's uh, solid state drive, okay? Don't need super fast for an external USB. You're not getting a utilization out of a 7200 RPM or 10,000 RPM external hard drive for data backups. You don't need it. However, as is the case, the 7200 is only like 5 or $6 more, so if you want to buy it, fine, you don't need it. But right here, we have 6 terabytes, 6 different drives, look how compact this is. But if you think you're going to write to these, and it's like, oh my god, I got all my data cloned on here, it's the perfect backup, I'm going to stick it in, stick in a Ziploc bag, and I'm going to throw it in the safe, and you know, my data's going to be... No! No! Magnetic depolarization. The hard drive is a ticking time bomb, and you're screwed if you think your data is safe there. It isn't. I had to wet my whistle there. My throat was getting dry. Excuse me. No, I don't drink. It was soda. Okay, I do not drink. Actually, I hate alcohol. My mind is all that I have left, certainly even though I don't have a body. Uh, so, you want to buy some nice three and a half inches? get Hitachis or Toshibas. Um, I think I've got the Hitachis over here. Not that it really matters. This is an Orico case for holding a three and a half inch hard drive. So I've got two, four, uh, yeah, two, four, six, eight, ten terabytes here of storage from this inside this nice little plastic thirty dollar case. And I have you can have up to nine terabytes here if you're buying one point five terabyte uh, two and a half inches. They will fit in these little cases. You can get a two pack of these blue cases. They get shipped from China. It's one of the few things is I, few things I will order from China are these. You get a two pack of them for like five. It's like six bucks or something. A two pack of them each. Each one holds two two and a half inch hard drives. They're really awesome stuff. Back up your crap. Don't lose your data. It's like oh, inside here is a hundred and twenty dollars worth of hard drives. Okay, I have worked my ass off making data and creating files for the past 20 years. You think I'm going to lose my crap because I didn't have a backup and an archive of my data? Hell no! How much is your time worth? I mean, $130 is what some people get paid in an hour. Oh, I just lost 10 years worth of work because I didn't have another $130 worth of hard drives! Ah! God! Not angry, it's frustrating. I can't stand to see. It's like, well, oh, basically I just pissed away half my life because, uh, because, uh, I was too cheap to buy another $60 hard drive. Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. <laughs> if you liked this video, you can always make a donation. Or you can tell me to go jump off a bridge. Another video from the Angry Photographer. Catch you later.